M theory. Yes, this is the topic of discussion in today's lecture. M theory. Uh, this topic you would find in the subject of theoretical physics. Okay, this is uh, only a theory. Okay, and uh, this theory has no practical evidence till date. Anyway, this theory was proposed by Edward Witten in the mid 1990s. You know string theory. Few days back, uh, a video was posted on super string theory. And here, the theory is M theory. This is all uh, almost similar to super string theory, but they are not exactly the same. M theory and super string theory both are different, though there are some similarities. Just keep in your mind that super string theory is 10 dimensional and M theory is 11 dimensional. There is one extra special dimension involved in M theory. Okay, and all the string theories type uh, 1, type 2a, type 2b, then uh, heterotic SO32, then heterotic E8 by E8. So those are the names are uh, different five string theories. Okay, and here I am talking about M theory. Super string theory is not different from string theory. Super string theory, uh, this term super comes due to the inclusion of the principle supersymmetry in the string theory. But here M theory, this is totally different. But it is able to encompass all the five string theories. Okay, means uh, the predictions of all the five string theories are different because assumptions and equations for all the five string theories are different. And everything you would get by using M theory. That means M theory encompasses all the five string theories. Though those string theories are 10 dimensional, but here the uh, M theory is 11 dimensional. There is one extra special dimension. So out of these 11 dimensions, there is only one temporal or time dimension and all other 10 dimensions are uh, special dimensions in M theory. And what is the use of the word M means what is the meaning of the uh, letter M because name is what? M theory. M stands for mother. Mother of all theories. Maybe. Okay. M may be, M may represent or M may imply mother. Means mother of all the five string theories. Again, M may be represented as mystery. Because uh, mystery of the universe is involved in this theory. Again, M may be uh, regarded as membrane because there is a concept of membrane in M theory. So M stands for all these three. Okay, membrane, mystery or mother. Right. In string theory, you know that uh, universe is made of, uh, is not made of uh, point-like particles. Instead, uh, the, the entire universe is made of strings, one-dimensional strings. Here also in M theory, uh, the same concept is there. The universe is made up of uh, one-dimensional strings, but here there is uh, other concept like membrane. Membrane of higher dimensions exist in this theory, and these one-dimensional strings they are nothing but the slices of higher dimensional strings. In M theory, the membranes. Uh, vary from means number of dimensions number of special dimensions in m theory vary from 0 to 9 0 means point like objects means there is actually no special dimension in that case that is called 0 and instead of using the uh, full word or the whole word membrane only the last part of the word that is brain b r a n e brain that is used so for a zero dimensional object that is called zero brain, similarly one brain, two brain, three brain, up to nine brain is there. Okay, and one temporal dimension is there or time dimension. <coughs> so uh, what is the total dimension? Nine plus one. One is te uh, temporal or time di uh, dimension. So it becomes ten. And the theory M theory, this is uh, actually eleven dimensional. So there is one. Uh, extra dimension, one extra special dimension is there and that extra dimension is uh, the requirement 
for the consistency of the m theory by using that extra dimension okay many things uh, many mathematical works can be accomplished at ease okay anyway so i was talking about m theory and i have already uh, mentioned that m theory encompasses all the five string theories means results or outcomes of all the five string theories can be easily predicted by using m theory what is the purpose of using this theory actually purpose is to uh, reconcile the theory of uh, relativity means general theory of relativity and uh, quantum mechanics there is a problem of quantum gravity there is a problem of the, uh, reality of time there is a problem of reality of the universe true nature of the universe there is a problem of reality of space so there are so many problems and in an attempt to solve all kinds of problems this m theory was proposed by different physicists still research is going on in this field still there is no practical evidence because students technology doesn't permit the physicist to go for experimental verification of such theory m theory okay and what about uh, but in reality in our daily life experience we can see only four dimensions three dim uh, three spatial dimensions and one uh, temporal dimension or time dimension so four dimensions so what about the other seven dimensions so according to m theory and according to string theory or super string theory uh, explanations remain the same other dimensions are curled up or compactified just like if you consider a two dimensional sheet say uh, the sheet is made of paper two dimensional sheet and if the sheet is rolled up then a partial confined to that sheet so from the perspective of that partial that sheet may appear to be one dimension only the length that dimension can be perceived by the person the person who is uh, confined and that seat confined to that seat okay only one dimension but there is one more dimension that is the circular or the round dimension okay because that thin paper now has been rolled up into a cylindrical shape though from apart from a distance that cylindrical uh, rolled up paper seat may uh, may seem to be one dimensional only the length may be observed from a distance but you know that there is one circular dimension also because that is, that is actually cylindrical but if you observe the same thing from a distance then that extra dimension that curled up dimension uh, can't be seen similarly uh, according to the physicists that extra dimensions exist but they are so sorry <coughs> sorry but they are so small that uh, or they are curled up in such a way that our brain cannot perceive all those extra dimensions means i am talking about all those extra seven dimensions exist in the m theory and all those extra six dimensions involved in uh, super string theory or string theory anyway i was talking about only m theory in this lecture and uh, i have mentioned that so concept of brains or membranes are there and he have also the same concept uh, that vibration of strings gives rise to different particles according to the according to the frequencies different particles exist in the universe or in nature okay so this was all about m theory so uh, m theory is 11 dimensional there is one extra dimension involved extra means extra with respect to string or super string theory anyway so this is now the end of this video thank you thank you for watching this video